Hey there guys and welcome back to Alex Invest. As we can see the markets are green today, but what's not as green as it usually is compared to the market is sort of our uh, green tech stocks here and our green energy stocks. You know, if we take a look at fuel cell, right? We're down 6.4% there, plug down 7% there basically, right? And you know, we do see sort of big swings in these companies, so it doesn't worry me too much. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about two stocks, which, you know, I talked about actually in one of the first videos I ever made on this channel, and that is Alpha Lithium here, first of all, and the other one is Standard Lithium. And they both do lithium brine extraction, but they both have their own methods of doing so, you know. Alpha Lithium is more of a a classic brine extraction method, whereas standard lithium is more of an advanced, newer technology, which is sort of quicker to extract that lithium from the brine, right? And you guys can go check out my last video on alpha lithium and standard lithium, just in the link right up here. But alpha lithium is in the Talilar Solar, right? Which is one of the most lithium brine places in the world. And this is also one of the last solars in this lithium triangle, it's called in Argentina. And if we look at sort of the lithium mining companies around Alpha Lithium here, you know, they have much bigger market caps than Alpha Lithium. So if we take a look at Alpha Lithium here, right, we can see their market cap is $56 million. But the average market cap sort of in that region there is around $200 million. So this one still has a ways to grow. And although this is a longer process here, I think we will get there eventually and maybe even to a greater extent because, you know, this is such a new company and they haven't really fully set up their infrastructure here. So in the news yesterday, and likely the reason we've seen sort of an 11% jump today in the company already, is because Alpha Lithium received a drilling license for their phase two drilling here, and that's out of a total of three phases. We can see I highlighted that there. And so now they can initiate their phase two drilling, and then once they've done that, they can move on to their phase three drilling. And then I wanted to show you guys this as well. This is sort of their three phase program. So they've completed phase one of the drilling here, right? And that is is two shallow wells less than 100 meters designed to test and confirm geophysical targets on the east and west peripheries of the Talilar Solar, right? And they've done this and it's been successful. So now they're on to the phase two here, which is up to two medium depth wells designed to test geophysical targets on the eastern side of the Talilar Solar, which have not previously been tested other than very shallow lithium tests. So this is going to give us a better idea here as well of sort of how much lithium they're going to be able to extract from the brine here and where they're going to go moving forward. So that'll be interesting to see the results of that, but you know, the fact that they got the license here already is a big step in that. And they have sort of confirmed that they have quite high milligram per liter concentration of lithium in this brine, right? So it should be good news. And then once they complete that, they can move on to their phase three, obviously here, right? And this is gonna be their last stage and that's up to two deep wells. Uh, greater than 400 meters management is eager to drill these wells as the last round of geophysics identified a new thick deep horizon in the southern part of the Talilar Solar. The deep horizon has been found to be highly productive and contain exceptionally high lithium concentrations on the nearby Hombre Muerto Solar. So that's like I just said, right? You know, they're quite confident here that they're going to have that high concentration of lithium. And because of that, they're going to be able to produce a lot more lithium. And sort of because some of these tests have already been done and we can kind of see these high concentrations already, we are going to see this company do quite well. That being said, it's still going to be quite a ways away before they hit that 200 million, three, 400 million dollar market cap, right? Because they are still sort of in that drilling phase and they haven't fully set up their whole process here to be able to extract that lithium right and when they do we are going to see this company grow a lot but again that could be up to a few years down the road all right so let's get into standard lithium now we're going to go through some of the recent news and their recent run here but first i wanted to show you guys this article right here and there's a few interesting things to note about this one that sort of gives you an idea of what this company actually does and why they're such a good company here right so this article was on september 18th 2020 right so a little while ago but still this just kind of gives you a nice overview first of all we'll start off with the very basics here right an innovative technology and lithium project development company marks the commencement of operations at the company's listr direct lithium extraction facility right and then now what is listr right and it's basically their direct lithium extraction technology and 
essentially it's much much quicker to extract this lithium from the brine with using this new technology than it is using the old-fashioned technology like that of alpha lithium right but remember even though alpha lithium is sort of doing things the old way of brine extraction they still have high concentration of lithium and they're in sort of an area that's famous for lithium right so we got to keep that in mind but anyways we're talking about standard lithium here so now what's really good to see here is it's an environmentally friendly technology so that's good there already right i mean we have that environmentally friendly technology and you know i've said this in a bunch of my videos but that's where we are headed here right guys and that's why i'm in so many of these sort of clean technology companies because this is going to be the future and these are sort of the companies that are going to be set for growth over the next decade here you know that's why i'm so bullish on this green tech sector in general and specifically the hydrogen industry solar industry right you guys know these and this lithium extraction really is for evs here and battery technology right and that is already and going to continue to be huge technology big advancements in that technology right and all of that requires lithium so really good stuff here we can see again i mentioned this before right but vastly increases recovery time from as long as a year to several hours so you know we the process is just sped up so much more here a general lithium mine through brine extraction like alpha lithium for example can take quite a few years like i said right so this really does speed up the process because it's only as long as a year significant efficiency gains as 90% recovery versus 40 to 60% recovery. Again, this is great. Improved final product purity. And that'll actually bring us into a recent article that sort of talks about how the lithium that standard lithium does extract is much higher quality even that is necessary for that battery production, right? But we'll get into that in a bit here. And here again, I've already mentioned this a little bit, but lithium's growing importance was reflected in a Trump administration executive order. The soft metal was among 35 critical minerals for which the government wants to boost domestic production and reduce its heavy reliance on imports, right? And that's important there because this is a U.S. company. They have two plants in the U.S., right? And one is in Arkansas, and that's sort of their big bigger plant here right and again not fully up and running here but proven technology and they're headed in the direction they need to be headed here and it says here u.s imports of lithium have nearly doubled since 2014 due in part to a rising demand from tesla sk innovation co and we've talked about sk innovations before and other building battery plants in the country according to the u.s geological survey right so basically standard lithium is set for growth because they're a u.s company and the u.s is trying to reduce their imports here of these critical minerals that are important in you know evs but not just evs basically in any battery technology here and again they say nearly doubled since 2014 so we can see the growth that's expected in this industry or that's already happened and i can actually see an even greater growth or compound annual growth rate here up until sort of 2030 i would say even here and beyond as we move sort of to evs from these gas powered vehicles that's going to be a big big driver for these companies and especially for standard lithium because again it's a u.s company and the united states is looking to decrease their imports there and here this is what i was talking about purity right greater than 99.9% .9 purity lithium carbonate produced. And this is proven here, right? I mean, we can see from the title, completes proof of concept for modern lithium extraction and crystallization technology here and makes better than battery quality lithium carbonate, right? And this actually could lead to new advancements in sort of battery technology as well and, and innovative solutions in this space just because of that high purity level and because their lithium quality is so, so high and so, so pure here, right? And then we can see better than battery quality here. So, you know, I hold both of these in my portfolio. I do see them continuing to be set for growth here, right? Standard Lithium just closed a public share offering and they didn't come down much at all from that and again just kept exploding here right and you know we're at the 4.46 level now and do i think it's too late to get into this company not at all right yes they've done their proof of concept but they're still kind of getting into that production phase and fully operational here which they aren't yet and once they do get there we will see a continued uptrend in this stock and with sort of the ev industry and the battery industry growing here 
we are going to be set for big growth in both of these in my opinion but especially in standard lithium here especially if you want to get into like a u.s company here again we talked about how the u.s wants to import less of lithium as well so that's going to do it for the video today i hope you guys liked it if you did please like subscribe leave me a comment and please share the video as well and other than that i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys tomorrow